Over the past few days in my Maths Countdown series, I've solved a significant amount of trig integrals, and all of them of different forms requiring slightly different techniques. And there's one thing that I've picked up on, is that pretty much all of these solutions are going to require you to make use of or manipulate some sort of trig identity, whether that be a compound identity, a double angle identity, or just one of the general identities such as cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x equal to one. So when I look at this, I'm thinking, I'm immediately thinking, what identity is this most similar to? Well, if we do this, cosine of a plus b plus cosine of a minus b is equal to 2 cosine of a times by cosine of b, then we notice that cosine of a times by cosine of b is very similar to this here. So what I can do is if I just take that 2 across and I have this left-hand side divided by 2, then those are pretty much identical if I make my a and my b whatever is convenient for me to make my a and my b. So I typically want to make my a 3x and my b 5x, and that'll be fine. However, I think it's slightly easier if I just make my a the larger one, which is 5x. And that's because over here I've said that um, we have cosine of a minus b. So I'd rather do cosine of 5x minus 3x because it's just simpler. So it won't really make a difference because cosine is an even function. So whether what's inside my bracket is a negative or a positive, I can simply make the inner of my bracket a positive. What I mean by an even function is cosine looks something like that, where it's symmetric about the y-axis. So it's not really significant, but now that I've said I'll do it, I'll just go ahead with it. So let's let a equal to 5x and b equal to 3x. Okay, so then we have cosine of 5x times by cosine of 3x, which is exactly the same as that, or what's inside our integral. And now we just need to substitute in our a's and b's over here. So here, 3x plus 5x is going to be 8x. And here we have 5x minus 3x, which is going to be 2x. Okay, so solving this integral, we get the integral of, now what's on the left-hand side, as opposed to what's on the right-hand side. So we have 1 over 2 over here, which we can take out as a constant out our integral. So now we're simply doing the integral of this numerator. So that's cosine of 8x plus cosine of 2x. All right, now that's easy enough to solve. Now, the integral of cosine is going to be sine. I keep the function inside, and now I divide by what was inside, the derivative of what was inside our function. So it's divided by 8 because the derivative of 8x is 8. And then, sorry, that, yeah, that's right. Okay, then for cosine of 2x, when we integrate that, we get plus sine of 2x divided by the derivative of what's inside our cosine, which is the derivative of 2x, which is 2. And then, of course, plus c, our constant of integration. So our final answer is then simply sine of 8x over 16 plus sine of 2x over 4 plus c. So I hope you found this video useful and interesting. And if you did, please don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.